Like sitting like a boss, bring the workers out. Press on the exhaust, we be scared now. No, we not the same, what you talking about? Got me all up in your mentions, must have heard around. How that sound, yeah, that sound. destroy a couple of my smaller bead roller ones. I don't use these very much because this is such a small indent. I'm going to grind these down and try and make my own. It might not work at all. It might work wonderfully. Uh, most likely it's probably going to be somewhere in the middle and hopefully I can make it work. But let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. Ow, that hurt. See this belt line? It oh. runs down the side of the truck. Well... I am going to be redoing the back half. The metal work is real shitty. When we first built this truck, we were just kind of going for a rat rod look. Well, once we got it done, we decided we wanted it to look a little nicer than it did. Um, so I'm gonna redo this. And when I originally did that, I think I just bent that in my vise or whatever. You know, we weren't really trying that hard. We didn't care. I knew I was gonna end up redoing it at some point. So long story short, I want to replace this whole thing, but I need to have a new belt line piece go across the top. Um, I talked to a couple different places in town. Nobody has a bead roller like I want or even have a way to make one. Um, one place in town said they could make it, they could make me up a pole max die, but they were talking like several hundred dollars. So I don't want to do that. We're going to try this, see what happens. If this doesn't work, what I can do is find maybe like a quarter panel off of something that has a similar bead roll, or that has a similar body line, and then cut it up and make it work. But I'm gonna sacrifice these and see if I can't make my own. Hopefully I can make it the exact same contour and then make the negative on this side, roll it, and uh, you know, have a perfect line. I don't know, let's try. <laughs> it's probably not gonna work, but let's try. So the first thing I did was I found a socket that fits really tight in the diameter of the die for the bead roller. It doesn't have any play in it, it won't wiggle. And then I figured I could put it in the vise, like so, and then just start grinding the shape I want. Um, it's going to be a ton of grinding, and then, like I said, you have to mirror it the opposite way, that way you can have a die. But Let's get grinding. I think I'm going to be grinding for about an hour, but let's see what happens. <laughs> Few moments later. <laughs> got a pretty good radius on this one so far. Still got to do a little bit more on one side, but... I'm gonna probably switch to my other one so I can start matching them a little bit better. I don't wanna just make a big, deep curve that I can't match on the other one, so let's do that. They match real good now. They're too hot, so I can't even show you. <laughs> Okay, so these have finally sat all night. As you can see, I got a pretty damn good, I got a little gap in the middle, but nothing too bad. I'm real close, and if you look here, if you look here, it's really close to my body line. It's off just a little, but not much. So, let's see what happens. My only thing I'm worried about is on the bead roller, I don't know how, it's, it's going to be tricky to keep it straight because it might want to walk both sides. I don't know, let's find out. Hmm, alright, let's see what happens. I think I'm going to have 
to adjust it a bit. But I got a scrap piece of metal. Let's see what happens. 3.28 a.m. sure this was gonna work <laughs> I mean just a, a couple dies in a grinder but I'm super happy with how it came out I'm very very happy with how it came out um, the whole time I was doing it I wasn't expecting it to actually work <laughs> bada bing she's all done super happy with how it came out it uh, it's really close it's not exactly perfect but man it's it's 99 out of 100 which is is better than I was even expecting considering I had to make these dies myself you know, I couldn't find them anywhere on the internet. I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm so happy. I've been I've been putting off doing this because it's such a pain in the ass. And then not only is it a pain in the ass to cut the back of your cab off, but I couldn't find the right you know tools. So it's amazing how sometimes just necessity can you know make you not only make you get stuff done, but uh, kind of make you do something you didn't think you could. It's like I said, I I, I wasn't sure it was going to come out at all, but I'm more than happy with it. Overall, I'm I'm very happy and. It goes to show you really, if you have a grinder and a couple dies, you want to try a couple different shapes, you could easily. You know, you could tweak this however you want. I just, you know, 20 minutes with a grinder, I made the dies exactly how they needed to be. So, uh, hopefully this will give you guys an idea to go out there and give it a shot if you, you know, you need to, or if you want to try a couple funky shapes out on your, on your bead roller. So, thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all that stuff they tell you to do at the end of videos, and check out some more of my other videos. Peace! Must have heard around how that sound, yeah, that sound good. Tell them.